Hi, everybody. Somebody told me I had to wear a mask, so I got one. What do you think? This is cool? Yeah. Um, actually, this came from Bubba Sykes many, many years ago, and I keep it in a plastic bag because it's the greatest thing in the world. The kids love this, but I didn't take it off. Okay. Okay, V. I hope you're ready because I'm really, really ugly. Hold on a second. Ah, there I am. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Everything goes backwards on this thing, you know? Very weird. Okay, well, anyway, I uh, the reason I'm here is because I want to tell you guys what's going on with this uh, coronavirus thing. First of all, I want to tell you that I am COAI's Clown of the Year. And I figured I had to do something, you know, because I kind of represent you guys, you poor people. Anyway, um, it's a very serious situation. I mean, everybody's tends to be getting it, and you don't really know you have it. The people that do know they have it are in rough shape, and everything's closed down. You can't do anything unless you're me, in which case you work on the COAI 2021 convention, because that's all I've been doing. Um, you guys are going to get some really great goodie bags, things I bought, things I made, things I stole. No, I didn't steal them. I'm kidding. Not that kind of person. Anyway, um, I just, I just wanted to come on here and tell you a few things that I thought of. One of the things that they're doing around here is they're having these parades for people that are having birthdays and apparently they're going really well. I mean, there's a lot of people that um, get together. They make a parade. They have balloons. They drive by the person's house that's having the birthday. And it's making a lot of happy faces. So I thought maybe I'd try that. I thought maybe what I would do is put a little ad in the paper and say, if you have a birthday coming up, Pumpkin will drive past your house, um, throw out some confetti, maybe sing a song or two or not, um, and wish the birthday person happy birthday. And throw out a bomb. No, I, I see, I don't know what's happening to me. These things just come out of my mouth. No bombs, I'm sorry. Anyway, I thought this would be a great idea, so I'm, I might actually put a little blurb in the paper about that. Um, the other thing is that people are putting teddy bears in their windows, so when the kids or even the adults come walking down the street, they see a teddy bear or something cool in the window. And I think I'm going to put Snoopy in the window with his, his clown outfit on, because I think that would be really neat. Um, the other thing are these masks. Uh, I think Clown Antics is selling them. I'm not sure. I think Corn Pop's wife might be making them. Um, they're, you know, a mask with a clown face on it. And I used to do this for my sister and my mother-in-law when they were in the hospital. They would have the face masks and I would draw a nose and a mouth. And, you know, I have pictures of them. Um, they kind of liked it, but then they told me I was annoying and I had to leave. <laughs> I don't understand why they would think I'm annoying me. Now, anyway, um, that's another good idea. And I'm thinking about actually making a mask for myself my way. I mean, other than, of course, this one, because this one was really cool. But, you know, anyway. Um, so that's another thing you could do. I mean, if you go out to the store and you have to wear a mask, wear that mask. That'll make people laugh, right? I mean... Yeah, it's a serious situation, but we have to keep our sense of humor, too. And we, as clowns, are the ones that are actually going to make these people laugh. Maybe forget about this virus for just a teeny-weeny time. So that's something very important to think about, too. Um, the other thing is I was thinking, because Easter is next Sunday, I was thinking about putting the Easter bunny outside and putting a mask on his face. <laughs> or maybe holding a Lysol can. I mean, I'm... You know how I'm into Halloween. I was thinking about doing that with a skeleton, too. But, you know. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys some ideas. And I wanted to tell you that I'm thinking about all of you. And also, I'm, I'm really, really disappointed. Next week would have been the week that we would have started our convention. And I'm really disappointed. But in all, I think it was the best move that we made. We did it early. Um, we got to everybody to tell them, and for the most part, everybody agreed with us. It was not something we should do at this time. And now that 
everything is closed, there wouldn't have been any sense in doing it anyway because you guys wouldn't have really had a whole lot of fun. And there would be no hugs and there would be six foot distancing and all this other kind of stuff. So um, I also want to tell you if you're feeling depressed or maybe just bored, you can always email me at pumpkin at pumpkintheclown.com or you can send me a PM on Facebook. I'll be happy to tell you a joke, try to make you feel better. I've got some cards I'm going to send out to some of you. You lucky, lucky people. Um, so I'm, I'm working on this. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to make people happy, make people laugh. Um, I'm reaching out to some old friends of mine that used to be clowns and hoping they will come back into the fold for just a little while just to help me with all of this. And hopefully they will say, yeah, I want to do it and, and come back in and help. Um, I want to say hi to Bunky and Teresa and Ann and Tim and Sue and, oh, Donuts. Psh, donuts. Psh. The man is a crazy man, let me tell you. He's absolutely crazy. But I will say he's a very nice guy. He supported me in many, many ways as I have supported him. Um, he's talked me off the ledge a few times when I've gotten depressed. I want to thank him for that. But there's so many of you that I cherish as friends. And I just wanted to tell you that. I may not tell you all the time. I may not send you an email and go, oh my gosh, I cherish you. I may not say that. But you guys know who you are. Clyde, you're one of them. Mr. Scope. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to make this little video so you guys know I'm thinking about you and some of the things that I've been doing. Um, maybe you could come up with some things of your own and tell me and then I could steal them. That'd be cool, right? Um, other than that, I just want you to all to know to stay safe. Do the distancing and the hand washing and all that other stuff they tell you to do. Um, there's a sign on my door that says, please don't come in unless you're John Cena. <laughs> yeah, John doesn't like that. Yeah, I mean, my John, John Morrow, he, I don't think he wants John Cena to come in. I don't know why. I can't imagine. But anyways, try to do what you can do, okay? And until my next video, which will be very, very soon, because I'm planning on singing you a song. <laughs> so find some earplugs, guys, because it's going to be epic. Okay, I have to go now. So stay cool, stay safe, stay, stay well.